Welcome into the shop this morning guys. As I said, today we're going to have a video on how to operate this touch probe and how it works. So first thing I want to get to is actually looking at the probe itself because there's a couple things about it that you're going to need to know. Uh, a couple things that I just figured out myself. So number one, if you take a look at the bottom of it, you'll notice that there's this big flat area that's recessed in and then there's kind of a lip or an edge around it, alright? Um, that is going to play an important part in how you actually probe what it is that you're probing, I guess. I think we're going to say the word probe too many times during this video, but hey, we're all adults, right? Anyway, so basically what that's for is if you only want to probe your Z axis, you're going to place it on top like that. If you want to probe your X, Y, and Z, you're going to have to put it on there like that. We will show you how to do that. But just so you know, that is why it is designed like that. One of the things I did notice, let me move the camera here a little bit. If you notice, I've had to raise my router. The length of this bit in the router was too high for the touch probe. It, it, just, it just wouldn't work. If I left the, uh, if I left the uh, router all the way down where I like it, it would be way too uh, low for the probe and it would uh, it would hit it it wouldn't be above it um, that's an issue for me because i i like the router to sit completely flat in the mount i feel like it uh, I, w I wouldn't say it's more stable but I, I feel like everything is is flat that way every time i've raised the router up and try to run like a pocket or something i feel like it gets out of tram if you will um, but you know, something we're going to have to deal with if we want to use this probe. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this. I'm going to attempt to do some screenshots with some audio um, and some video of the machine at the same time. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, let's get into it. Alright, so let's get started. The first one we're going to do is we're going to probe three axes, okay? That's going to be X, Y, and Z. Now, remember, on top, like that, is only for your Z. That's if you're only doing your Z. What we want is down and pushed into the corner, alright? That's going to do all three. First thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to jog your bit to just above this little circle right here. So, let's get that thing done and jogged over real fast. They say to get the uh, the bit pretty close to the the block, and you'll see why in a minute. Because I believe it moves pretty slow, and if you don't have it close enough, it'll time out on you. So, all right, we're gonna call that good. All right, second step: connect your clip. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm not gonna show it, but I'm gonna tell you what happened. I just did this take a few minutes ago, and I was all excited to watch this thing work. And uh, when I hit the probe button, it started smashing into my probe. You know why? I didn't have the alligator clip attached. It's all right, though. It's all right. We learn. Didn't break anything. So now we got the clip attached. It's in position. It's pushed up into the stock. So now we're going to click on the probe button. And uh, it should do all three axes. Here goes nothing. Oh. My bad. We need to select what we want to probe. Uh, probe height Z or probe corner, which is X, Z, X, and Y. That's what we want. Select your tool. In this case, we have an eighth inch end mill. So now we can click begin probing. Point one. That's our Z. Now it's going down a little bit. Get our X. X. Now it'll go over to the Y and we can get our Y. This is a pretty slow process here. 
and we have Y. So now it has probed all three axes and should be perfectly centered on the corner and on the, the top of the, the stock. So let's uh, take this off. And uh, now I guess the, the question is, is, do we have to set to zero or not? I guess that's already set to zero. Huh, well, that's a good question. You know, I'm gonna have to figure that out real quick. Okay, so we probed it and uh, I did a little looking and I couldn't really find much information. So like I usually do, I'm just gonna test it out myself. So what I've done is I've, I've uh, designed just a little pocket here, an eighth inch deep to do one pass. Uh, I haven't done anything after probing. Uh, I haven't set any zeros or anything. Um, and my question is, does the, the software automatically do it, even though the bit is way up here and it's not actually zeroed out down here on the wood like I'm used to doing with a piece of paper? So I've loaded this uh, toolpath in here and uh, let's uh, see what it does. And start. <laughs> Okay guys, so I think I just answered that question. Once the probing is done, you do not have to zero anything. You just go ahead and load your file and uh, let her rip. Um, but I, I do notice that uh, I'm having some, some tramming problems here. I can feel it. It's hard to see in mahogany, but, uh, but I can definitely feel it in there. So that's something for me to work out at a later date. All right, let's move on to only doing the uh, Z axis. Okay, now that we've <clears throat> done the probing of the, the three axis, now we're gonna do the probing of just a single, which is gonna be the Z. So the, the, the whole thing works exactly the same. You need to center your probe, or center your bit over that uh, circle on the probe. Just like that, okay. We're gonna go ahead and connect our alligator clip so we don't forget to do that again. Get that back where it goes. All right, then we're going to click on probe. Now we're going to go up to type and we're going to do just probe height Z. And with this, it doesn't matter what tool you use. Uh, this is going to be more for your V bits more than likely because with your V bits, you can't probe uh, the X and the Y. Uh, so if you want the X and Y, you can either do it manually by just guiding the bit with your eyes or you can actually uh, probe with a say an eighth inch end mill and then uh, throw your your uh, v-bit in there and probe just a z it's up to you but uh pretty simple we've uh, selected uh, probe height and we'll just uh, begin probing it's that simple folks i mean that's it i mean nothing else what are you expecting it, it probed the z height okay it's zeroed out on top of this piece of wood now. You wanna see if it's accurate? Okay, well, here's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and run the uh, last tool path that I ran, and it should, it should, it should keep the same zero on the X and Y. Uh, current F, okay, that's my last X, Y zero. Uh, and it's got its new Z height now. So let's see if it works. Uh, I'm still getting used to this new uh, motion. So info load, no, done. Okay, load new file. Let's go up here to the desktop and find it. And it is touch pro pocket. We will run this. Plug your ears. <laughs> I would say that's a success. So, touch probe, pretty accurate. 
Um, it kept its XY uh, zero uh, after I did the first one and then went and did just the Z. So, uh, so that's pretty good. Um, now I'm going to do one more thing and I'm not going to go through, you know, how do I do this? Uh, all I'm going to do is test and see if it uh, will uh, work with the dust boot. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just do a real quick test to see if uh, we can probe with the dust boot on. Already I can tell you what, what's going to happen. The neighbor's dogs are going to start barking and it's going to drive me nuts. Okay, I think they're done. So we got the dust boot on there. We obviously have it raised way up off our workpiece because we need it to be. So let's just uh, go through this. Okay, and it's ready to go. It's probed, we dropped the dust boot, so it can be done with a dust boot on, just not with the dust boot dropped all the way down to the piece where it needs to be. So, any questions on uh, how to probe? I think we've covered them all. Okay guys, maybe not the most exciting video, but for those of you that need to learn how to use a touch probe, hopefully we've uh, answered that question. Uh, we, we showed how to probe the X, Y, and Z axis, we showed how to probe just the z-axis. Um, we didn't use any v-bits or anything like that, but like I said, the only thing you can probe with a v-bit is gonna be your z-axis and nothing changes. Put the bit in, alligator clip, just like you would. So uh, with that being said, guys, uh, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and, uh, and I'll try to answer them. And I guess with that, I'll leave you with this. My thought of the day, go probe something.